Hi guys, it's uh, Greg from ZE Partner here. I am making a new introduction video to ZE Companies House Assistant for Zoho CRM. So as you can see here, this is the listing for it in the marketplace. I have added some amazing new functionality to it recently. So I wanted to refresh this video to show you what it's all about. So firstly, if we head to the settings page of ZE Companies House Assistant, you'll see this automatically after you install. If we scroll through here, you can see here a trial will be automatically started for you if you have just installed the extension for the first time. Then here you can change your plan. Now for our existing users, you are all automatically on the bronze plan, but you can click on the various different buttons to view more about each plan and upgrade or downgrade as required. The reason you might want to upgrade upgrade would be for more companies house bulk search credits. So as you can see here, I'm on the platinum plan and I currently have 100,000 uh, credits per month for bulk searches. We'll get into that a bit further later. Then as you scroll down, you will need to put in your API keys. I've hidden them from view for this video, but usually they're here. As you paste or enter the key, we will do some validation checks and make sure that it's a valid API key. And we now do that for all the different API keys that you add. We've recently added the functionality to also look up companies based on the FCA database. So if you work with clients who are authorized by the FCA or who appear on the FCA database, then you'll be able to look up their details as well. Then we've got the screenshot layer API. As before, if you enter this, you will have these options here to take automatic screenshots of companies house. We've also updated how these appear and we've added this warning message here. As you can see, for most businesses, we recommend leaving these settings off. And that speaks about these checkboxes here. Now, the reason for this is if you have an account on your system and you set a billing address that you know to be the correct billing address, but they happen to have their registered address with their accountant, for example, then each time the system updates the company's house listing, it would overwrite the correct address you had put in for the billing address or the mailing address. So use these with caution. A couple of options here that are less risky are the account name and the lead company being updated to the registered company name as I don't see any likelihood of that causing problems. But definitely with the address fields, I would use those with caution. Now let's jump into what the app actually does. So you're on the phone with someone and you go to create a lead and you uh, can either manually type in all the information about that person or you can click company's house search. You can ask them for the name of their limited company and you can click add. Now, as you can see, it's added the company name here and it's added a couple of small facts about this company. So all we'd really need to do is put in here, Mr. First name and last name and then let's click save. Obviously you would want an email address or a phone number or something like that as well. But if we wait now for this record to update, which should appear up here in a few seconds, then you will see all the information that we can get from Companies House being pulled in automatically. So let's refresh this record. So there all of our data is now here. So we can scroll down and we can see all this data has been pulled in automatically from Companies House. We also have the option to search for a company for an existing lead. So here you can see the widget has pre-filled with this company's number. So we can search there like that. Otherwise we can do an FCA search. Let's look up Barclays Bank. So here are all the different Barclays. Here's Barclays PLC. So we can either view them on the FCA and we can look for more information here if we want to. Well, that's taking some time. Otherwise, we can view them directly within Zoho CRM. So if we just wait for this to load, there's obviously a lot of people at Barclays. I shouldn't have chosen such a big company. There we go. Okay, so we can see that they have two different addresses listed. We also have their FCA reference number here. And we have phone numbers and a website. 
and then tons and tons of people. So we can see here that how many people do we have in total? We have 20 people in total. So what we could do is we could either individually add specific details from here if we wanted to, or we could click here to save all data to the record. Now, just so you know what will happen is we will use the first address and the first individual. So in this case, it's probably not going to be what we want because you can see the first address is actually their complaints contact and we wouldn't be marketing to their complaints contact. So instead of adding all the data, let's just go ahead and click through and add the various different things that we want. So we'll definitely take the name and let's take this address and let's take this phone number this website and let's choose brian so let's add brian's individual reference number and let's add his name and his surname and i think that's all we want so we'll close out of this and now on our record if we i think we're going to need to refresh but let's check yes because we still have the old name there so if we refresh this lead now we can see the record is now brian and the company is still the old company because company's house is overwriting him we've set our rules to say use the uh, registered company name as the company for the lead all right so that can save you tons and tons of time and help you get good quality data but we aren't stopping there if we go on to our extra options up here and go to company's house bulk data we now have this new widget and this is where your credits come in on those previous searches credits aren't deducted for one by one searches but when you're doing bulk lookups that's when the credits apply so let's say we want to get a hundred different companies, including their offices, where they were incorporated from, let's, cho let's choose today. Let's look at just companies that were incorporated today. And let's narrow these down to just, uh, let's say, real estate, buying and owning of own real estate and development. So if we were a mortgage broker, these are the types of people we would want to be talking with. And let's click search. So now it's checking company's house. There we go. So it's found 100 of 144. So we limited it to 100, but there are an additional 44 people there. That cost us 200 of our credits because the way the credits work is it's one for each company and then one for each company extra if you want to include the company offices. So searching for 100 companies with their offices costs 200 credits. So now we have all these companies here with the SIC codes 41100 and 48100. All right, so what we can do is we can now select all of these if we wanted to and go actions, add as leads. And what that's gonna do is it's going to choose the first officer of type director and it's going to add them as a lead. And it's also going to set some of the fields for the company so that when we convert that lead, the company record is filled out. We could go straight ahead and create an account for this record if we wanted to, or we could go ahead and mass create accounts, but generally you would want to first add all these people as leads, and then once they're leads on your system and you contact them and they sign up with you, at that point you'll convert them and they'll become accounts. So in this case, we're gonna say add as, add as leads. Okay, so that's 100, so we'll say okay to that. And there we go, we're busy adding the leads. It actually works very quickly, which is nice. Great, successfully added all 100 leads to Zoho CRM. There we go. So all of these results have been added as leads and we can just click on any of these red buttons here to open them as a lead. And we can see that all their data has been filled in from company's house. So now let's run another search and let's export these. So for this one, I'm not going to include the offices and I'm going to look for 5,000 companies. I'm going to say incorporated from and we'll say, let's try today and see how many results we get. Okay, so there were 1,955 companies created today. So if we go select all, actions, export to CSV, and here's the export file. So you can see we've got the company name, company number, and all sorts of other information about the company here. 
Okay, so now what we'll do is let's run a search for all manufacturing sick codes that were incorporated in the last month. So let's say from the 1st of May. And here we'll say include offices and we want 500. So let's go search. There we go. So we found 500 of a possible 785. And now let's select all of those and we're going to export them as CSV. Here they are as a CSV file. And here you can see we now have all the information for each of the offices. So you might want to use this CSV file to import this data elsewhere. For example, to provide to a direct mail company so that they can send letters to these people for you. Finally, let's look at the company house entries module. So here you can see all of the different companies that we've added to the system. So each time we add a UK company number to one of our leads or accounts or deals, one of these company house entries will be created for that company. And if you click into one of them, you can see that they have a next update at date. Now this is set automatically depending on your settings in the system. I have mine set to every 30 days. If you're an accountant, you may want that to be shorter. Or if you are just using this for lead generation, you might want it to be once a year, for example. Here we can see that we also have imported the company house offices. And these are all imported as traditional Zoho modules and records. So you can create workflow rules on these. You can run blueprints on these. You can do whatever you like with these records. To find out more or for a free trial, visit the marketplace and search for ZE Companies House Assistant for Zoho CRM. You can go here and click install and a free trial will automatically be started for you. If you're one of our existing clients, we would really appreciate if you would leave a rating or a review. As you can see, we've got two very good reviews at the moment, but of all our subscribers, very few of you actually leave reviews. So I would like to ask that you please come on here and leave a review for us. Thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. And I hope you like the updated features in ZE Companies House Assistant.